What if the next interstellar object isn't just a rogue rock drifting through space, but something far more mysterious? In 2023, astronomers spotted a cosmic visitor hurling into our solar system, a comet now known as Free Eye Atlas. On the surface, it might just seem like another icy vagabond from the outer reaches of the galaxy. But as with many things in space, the story gets weirder the closer you look. This isn't our first unexpected guest, we've had Oumuamua in 2017, the now infamous cigar-shaped object that baffled scientists with its bizarre acceleration and shape. Then came Borisov, a more traditional-looking comet that at least followed the interstellar handbook. But Free Eye Atlas? Well, it's odd to say the least. Not just because it's the third interstellar object ever detected, but because some scientists are beginning to whisper the unthinkable. What if it's not just a rock from another star system? What if it's something else entirely? Something intelligently designed? Now, don't get me wrong, nobody's calling it a UFO with a warp drive… yet. But the data is raising eyebrows in some very respectable observatories. Some researchers are even floating the possibility that Free Eye Atlas might be dropping tech as it cruises through our system. Yes, that's a real quote. So, is it just another comet? A random ice ball that got flung across the galaxy? Or is it a cosmic breadcrumb left behind by something or someone watching us? In this video we are diving deep into what we know, what we don't and why this curious object has scientists scratching their heads and maybe, just maybe, adjusting their tinfoil hats. If you thought Oumuamua was strange, buckle up, because Free Eye Atlas is in town and it might be even weirder. It's the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed zipping through our solar system. That Free Eye prefix stands for third interstellar, meaning it's not from around here. Literally. While Oumuamua got all the headlines back in 2017 for being cigar-shaped and not acting like any comet we've seen before, and Borisov in 2019 was more like a textbook example of what a comet should look like. Free Eye Atlas? It falls somewhere in between, but with a few added quirks. First off, size. Unlike Oumuamua, which was only a few hundred meters long, Free Eye Atlas is estimated to be massive, somewhere between 10 to 100 kilometers across. For scale, that's larger than 99% of comets we've ever studied. It's basically the cosmic equivalent of someone showing up to a dinner party with a truck instead of a side dish. Now, let's talk speed and trajectory. Free Eye Atlas is moving too fast to be gravitationally bound by our Sun. Just like its predecessors, it's only making a pit stop in our solar system before continuing its grand tour of the galaxy. The math confirms it. Its hyperbolic trajectory and velocity all scream I wasn't born here. Astronomers were quick to flag it as interstellar and that alone would have made it worth watching. But Free Eye Atlas isn't just a large, fast-moving rock in space. It's active. Even before it reached the inner solar system, it started to brighten, which suggests it's venting gas or dust. That's comet-like behavior, but the timing and intensity were unusual. Which brings us to a much stranger question. What exactly is it doing out there? And that's where the things start to get suspicious. So, Free Eye Atlas is big, it's fast, and it's not from here. That alone makes it a cosmic celebrity. But what's turning heads in observatories around the world isn't just where it came from, it's how it's behaving. Let's start with the brightening. Most comets get brighter as they approach the Sun. That's normal. The Sun heats up the comet's icy surface, causing it to sublimate and release gas and dust, which forms that iconic glowing coma. But Free Eye Atlas started brightening early. Like suspiciously early. It lit up before it was anywhere near hot enough to trigger the kind of activity we would expect. Think of it as someone sweating before they enter the gym. Then there is its motion. Some astronomers have noted possible inconsistencies in its rotational pattern, strange tumbling behavior, irregular changes in brightness that could hint at a complex shape or even artificial geometry. We are not talking disco ball reflections here, but something definitely doesn't add up. And there is more. Early analysis of its velocity curve suggests small variations, nothing extreme, but enough to make scientists raise an eyebrow. These aren't definitive course corrections like a spaceship doing a slingshot maneuver, but they are not entirely random either. Some have even suggested that the object could be interacting with gravitational fields in a way we haven't modeled correctly yet. Or that it might be releasing material deliberately? That brings us to Avi Loeb, Harvard astrophysicist and one of the more daring voices in the field. 
You might remember him from the Oumuamua debates, where he suggested that the elongated object might have been artificial. Now he's turned his attention to Free Eye Atlas. Loeb has floated the idea that this visitor might be dropping probes or small payloads as it passes through the star system. Yes, like a cosmic Amazon delivery system, casually flinging out packages as it zips past. Is there hard proof of this? No, not yet. But Loeb isn't just making this up over coffee. His theories are grounded in physics and build around the idea that if intelligent civilizations exist, they might use self-replicating probes to explore the galaxy. And if Free Eye Atlas fits that profile even slightly, we might not be watching a comet. We might be watching a messenger. If you're enjoying watching videos about cosmic mysteries, consider subscribing to our channel. It's free and it helps our mission. Hit the like button if you found this video interesting and share it with a fellow space enthusiast. If you want to become a part of our community, links to Reddit and Discord are in the description below. You can pause the video and put your tinfoil hat on. Because now, things get weird. Whenever something unexplainable shows up in space, there is always that one person who jumps straight to aliens. But in this case, that person might be a Harvard astrophysicist. Avi Loeb, yes, him again, has made headlines before by suggesting that Oumuamua, the first known interstellar object, wasn't just a space rock. He argued it could have been artificial. Not a spaceship per se, but maybe a light cell. Or a probe. Or something built by a civilization with slightly more impressive science funding than ours. Fast forward to Free Eye Atlas and Loeb is raising his eyebrows again. Let's look at the evidence. We've got a fast moving object that entered our solar system on a hyperbolic trajectory, meaning it's just passing through. It's big, estimated to be anywhere from 10 to 100 kilometers across. That makes it massive compared to Oumuamua. If you're thinking, too big to be a probe, well, maybe not. What if it's not a probe, but a mothership? That's one of the theories floating around. Some astronomers have speculated that Free Eye Atlas might be shedding smaller fragments or even devices as it passes by planetary systems. Think of it like a galactic dandelion, seeding the cosmos with little surprises as it drifts along. A slow motion cosmic pollinator. Charming, right? Now, before we jump to conclusions, no, no one has photographed little alien drones emerging from it, and we don't have radio signals or blueprints or men in black on standby. This is all speculation based on its behavior, its early brightening, irregular motion and sheer size. But science begins with questions, and when something doesn't behave like the thousands of other comments we've catalogued, it deserves a closer look. And here is where things get really thought-provoking. If this is artificial, it would suggest not just the existence of intelligent life, but intelligent life capable of sending technology across interstellar space, and doing so thousands or even millions of years ago. Because let's face it, if this is a probe, it's not coming from next door. Even at ridiculous speeds, it would have taken ages to get here. That's like sending a message in a bottle across an ocean you've never seen, hoping someone finds it, and hoping they are smart enough to understand it. So, is Free Eye Atlas an alien technology? Probably not. But could it be? That's the kind of question that keeps astronomers up at night and alien believers waiting in anticipation. Let's take a step back. Whether Free Eye Atlas is an alien tech, a weirdly behaving comet, or just a big rock that took the scenic crowd, the fact that it exists at all is extraordinary. Until 2017, we didn't even know interstellar visitors were a thing. Oumuamua cracked that door open. Borisov pushed it wider. Now Free Eye Atlas has walked in without knocking, and it's making us rethink how common these cosmic trespassers really are. Each one of these interstellar objects is a messenger from beyond. They weren't born in our solar system. They didn't form from our sun's leftovers. They come from other stars, other systems, and maybe even other galaxies. That's like finding a seashell in the desert. It would raise some questions, right? By studying these objects, we get direct samples of alien chemistry. Literally, their composition can tell us what kind of stuff other stars and planets are made of, and how similar or different those systems are to ours. It's like opening a galactic cookbook and realizing there are way more recipes than we ever imagined. But Free Eye Atlas offers something even more valuable. It challenges our assumptions. Its unusual brightness patterns, massive size and possible ejection of material push us to rethink what we expect from just a comet. 
And with new tools like Vera Rubin Observatory about to come online, we are going to start spotting these objects a lot more often. This is just the beginning, and that matters. Because every time one of these visitors shows up, we get a chance to test our models, to confirm or to crush our theories, to see whether our corner of galaxy is ordinary or extraordinary. It also forces us to prepare. If something artificial ever does come flying through, we better have the instruments and the mindset ready to catch it. Because let's be honest, if the universe is sending messages, we don't want to be the civilization that left them on red. So, is Free Eye Atlas alien technology? No one's saying it definitely is. But here is the thing. No one is saying that it definitely isn't either. That sliver of uncertainty is where curiosity thrives. Sure, it's easy to roll your eyes at the idea of alien probes or comet-sized spaceships sneaking through our solar system like they are on some deep space reconnaissance mission. But when you have world-class astronomers, the same ones who study planetary formation and galaxy dynamics, openly saying, huh, that's odd, you pay attention. Because the real question isn't if it's aliens, it's what does this object tell us about the universe we live in? Free Eye Atlas, whether it's an icy wanderer or something stranger, is a cosmic reminder that the universe is not a closed book. It's a living, dynamic mystery. And every now and then, it tosses a wild plot twist our way. Our job? Read carefully, question everything, and never stop looking for the next chapter. The speculation around Free Eye Atlas isn't about proving ET exists. It's about staying open to the possibility that we are not the gold standard for intelligence or engineering in this galaxy. That maybe, just maybe someone else left breadcrumbs behind, and we are only now learning how to spot them. So where does it leave us? In a universe with billions of stars, trillions of planets and comets that seem to show up unannounced like cosmic door-to-door -door salesmen. It's okay to ask the weird questions. It's okay to wonder. That's how science moves forward. Because if we only ever chase the obvious, we'll never find the extraordinary. Thank you for watching. Keep looking up.